So Diabetes Canada was created by volunteers more than 60 years ago. And today volunteers are still the lifeblood of this organization. And they're involved in practically every aspect of Diabetes Canada's work. So ranging from grassroots community-based activity to scientists, researchers, healthcare professionals who are helping develop clinical materials and tools, to leadership volunteers who serve on our board of directors and everything in between. So volunteers really uh, help us by telling us what is needed most and where. Uh, volunteers are the people who are in the community who are providing education and uh, resources and service information to other people living with diabetes in the community. Um, our volunteers are those very passionate voices who help support our advocacy effort, which ultimately is what convinces governments to change policies that will impact thousands of Canadians by helping to improve access to things like devices or new medications. We have healthcare professionals serving as volunteers in, in a wide variety of capacities. Um, you know, one important area, for example, are the uh, healthcare professionals who uh, help us through our camping program to provide that very vital connection and support to families and children who are living with diabetes and often feel isolated. Uh, we also have volunteers who are helping us with sort of simple local office related roles. So helping us to phone and thank donors, which is so important, or helping us when we're, uh, you know, registering people as participants for events or for local fundraising activities. So you can imagine that the, the number of roles that are available in the organization is, uh, is huge. Um, and it changes a little bit throughout the year, depending what kind of activities we have underway. Uh, but either way, all of these roles and different skill sets uh, really do fit together like pieces of a puzzle to create something wonderful for Diabetes Canada. And the organization would not be here and we would not be uh, successful the way that we are today if it was not for volunteers. So I would say for anyone who is considering uh, becoming a volunteer with Diabetes Canada, we would love to hear from you. Uh, there are lots of opportunities available, lots of flexibility, and probably the best thing to do would be to check our website often because we will be updating what roles are available throughout the year, depending on what's happening uh, from one month to the next. So we hope to hear from you. Diabetes Canada is lucky to work side by side with thousands of dedicated volunteers who are at the heart of our efforts. Together, we work to bring about positive change for the benefit of all Canadians living with diabetes or those at risk of developing it. Our volunteers are a passionate and diverse group of people, ranging from the parents of children living with diabetes to healthcare providers, to researchers, and to those like myself who live with diabetes. These volunteers give freely of their time and talent because they feel as strongly as we do that together we can create a world free of the effects of diabetes. Some of these volunteers work to shape Diabetes Canada's research and policy priorities. They provide input into submissions to government and participate in research studies and critical roundtables on policy and research topics. Others lend their voices to our advocacy efforts at both the provincial and federal levels and speak for those who cannot speak up for themselves. They do this by raising awareness of diabetes and the burden of it by sharing their own experiences with elected representatives, the public, and even the media, and assist in our advocacy campaigns and events across the country that influence public policy. Then there are those volunteers who help with our online education classes, provide support to our helplines, deliver our educational webinars, and participate on planning committees for our conferences. And finally, there are those that play a central role in updating our all important clinical practice guidelines, the guide for all healthcare professionals in Canada who have patients living with diabetes. These volunteers come with expertise from a diverse setting, including cardiology, dietetics, endocrinology, and more. We clearly have a vast array of volunteers and without them, Diabetes Canada would truly not be able to do what we do. We are immensely grateful to each and every one of them. It is only together with them that we will achieve our shared vision, a world free of the effects of diabetes.
I became a volunteer for Diabetes Canada 17 years ago. And I became a volunteer because my, my daughter, Lisa, had been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was living in Edinburgh. She was in her third year at the University of Edinburgh. We were in Ottawa. It was an enormous shock to us. And it was a huge shock, of course, to Lisa. It was devastating. And we, we knew nothing. In the 28 years since then, I've learned a great deal. And I decided that I should share what I've learned with other people who have diabetes and with the community in general. I've learned an enormous amount. What, the most important thing I've learned is that when you volunteer, you always give, you learn, and you receive so much more than you give. It is a rewarding because of all that you learn. It's also rewarding because you have an opportunity to make a difference sometimes in the lives of other people or just simply in your community in general. As an advocate, I was part of a group of Diabetes Canada advocates who persuaded the Canada Revenue Agency to change their interpretation of the policy governing the disability tax credit. The disability tax credit, that simple one decision made a difference in the lives of thousands of people, taxpayers living with diabetes in Canada. Working in the community, I met a young father one morning. He had come to our to a health fair at the Esquimalt Naval Base here in Victoria. He was posted way up island. He told me he'd driven five hours down that morning because his daughter had been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes that morning, that week, a week before. And he didn't know anything. And in his small town, there was no one who could help him. But he knew that Diabetes Canada would be at that fair. He found us. We spoke to him for perhaps, I don't know, for quite a while. We gave him resources. We gave him some paper handouts. I know that when he started home for his five-hour drive home, he was a much happier person than he had been on his way down. Thanks to volunteering with diabetes, I've had the opportunity to have these experiences and I'm very grateful. Thank you.